Welcome back, folks, to Investor Diaries. Hope you've been enjoying the volatile start to the markets in 2022. And if you've not already done so, please hit the subscribe button right now to make sure that you get notified of all the latest and greatest content on our Investor Diaries channel. So we were thinking of high potential stocks that we could target in 2022, and we came across a really exciting company in the cyberspace. Its stock has done exceedingly well in 2021, but has taken a beating towards the end of the year. Yes, we're referring to CrowdStrike, and we'll talk all about it in today's video. CrowdStrike Holdings Inc. is a cybersecurity vendor that specializes in endpoint protection, threat intelligence and hunting, attack remediation, and offers various solutions to supplement security and network operation teams. Its cloud-based architecture collects data across all its endpoint agents, analyzes the information within its cloud platform, and updates all of its customers' security posture. CrowdStrike sells packaged tiers of cybersecurity protection and offers individual security modules via its online marketplace. So the bigger question here is, why does cybersecurity even matter? And in order to answer this, just take a look at one of the world's largest container shipping companies, that is AP Moller Musk, who according to the Wired magazine, suffered the most devastating cyber attack in history back in 2017. Ultimately, it resulted in a net loss of $300 million. In addition, we could add election interference and government-sponsored cyber threats on top, suggesting that this is a highly prioritized area for both public and private institutions, giving strong signs of industry growth. So the point is, there are lots and lots of companies in this space. And the bigger question is, why CrowdStrike? So CrowdStrike's mission is quite simple, and it is we stop breaches. Cybersecurity is an enormous challenge for enterprises of all sizes. Now, the respective governments are also looking to shore up systems across departments in this area. That's right, Appy. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which is CISA, recently selected CrowdStrike as a powerful platform for endpoint protection across various federal government agencies. So George Kurtz, co-founder and CEO of CrowdStrike said that CISA is on the front lines when it comes to defending our country's most critical assets against the persistent and evolving threats that nation state and e-crime adversaries present. Improving our nation's defenses and cyber resiliency requires strong collaboration between the government and the private sector. Now, this partnership will arm CISA and government agency with CrowdStrike's powerful technology and elite human expertise to stop those sophisticated attacks and protect our nation's critical infrastructure. Additionally, CrowdStrike is some of the best SaaS metrics around. When it comes to growth, few can match CrowdStrike's 75% CAGR, which is compounded annual growth rate over the last five years, inclusive of this fiscal year's guidance. Now, ARR, which is annual recurring revenue, is also estimated to be 1.5 billion mark in Q3 fiscal 2022. And this is an impressive milestone for CrowdStrike. Now, to achieve this growth, CrowdStrike is spending efficiently on marketing. One measure of sales and marketing spending efficiency is the SaaS magic number. Now, this magic number is calculated by taking in the increase in quarterly ARR, which is the annual recurring revenue, and dividing this by the quarter's sales and marketing expenses. Now, to put things into perspective, a magic number over 0.75 is seen as efficient. And in the case of CrowdStrike, it was at a staggering 1.3 as of October 31st, 2021. The gross margins at CrowdStrike are also expanding and subscription gross margin is approaching 80% pointing to scalability. There's plenty of room for scaling with an estimated TAM of $116 billion by 2025. Now let's talk about the recent pullback. The recent pullback makes the valuation metrics much more attractive. The company now has a forward price to sales ratio of under 34. Analysts have begun to turn bullish on the stock all over again 
in light of the favorable valuation metrics. Another key point that we would like to call out is the continuously evolving product portfolio at CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike believes their product is, apart from the rest, by the nature of the cloud solution, allowing for data access, giving constant protection, continuous learning, and reuse of all those learnings within its AI platform. Now, herein as well lies an important observation to the thesis underlying CrowdStrike over time. Now, as this AI becomes smarter, it strengthens its resilience towards cyber-related threats, but also it makes it increasingly difficult for the new entrants to match the services that CrowdStrike already provides. On top is the network effect suggesting the value proposition strengthens over time as every new customer gives more value to the software and the ecosystem that CrowdStrike has built. So now let's look at some key stats for CrowdStrike. So as evident, growth is strong across the board, supported by the vision of a business model, promising much less friction for the customer. The company itself has labeled this low friction go-to-market strategy with ease of use when it comes to onboarding. Once you become a consumer of CrowdStrike, the chances of leaving the ecosystem is very slim. So some of the key stats are 14,687 subscription customers as of latest quarter quarterly results, which represents 74% year-over-year growth. Additionally, annual recurring revenue of 1.51 billion which represents 67% year-over-year growth. Now, in terms of its reach, it boasts of 63 of the Fortune 100 companies and its current customers, and 14 of the top 20 banks as its current customers as well. Next, in terms of dollar-based retention, for the past 13 quarters, the company has exceeded a dollar-based retention rate of 120%, suggesting that the customers are pleased with the service that they're providing, to the point where they spend more money with CrowdStrike over time. Now, gross margins, which are currently sitting at 76%, to continue to rise towards 80 plus percentage, which indicates that the operating leverage is increasing. Now, according to 29 analysts following CrowdStrike, 19 of them are very bullish on the company, the highest amount and percentage in terms of distribution in the last three years. The current average price target for the stock comes in at $293 per share, suggesting a considerable upside from where the stock is today. So if you look at the Gartner Magic Quadrant, CrowdStrike has consistently been recognized by Gartner as an EPP, which is Endpoint Protection Leader, with the most recent publication coming out in 2021. Now, we discussed a lot of catalysts that's going in favor for CrowdStrike. Now, what are the risks? Now, as with the case of any high-flying growth stock, the biggest risk comes with the valuation. The company currently trades at an earning value to revenue of 35.7% roughly the same as when the company went public. The only difference is it has grown massively since its IPO. If you observe the same picture, but measured in terms of percentage growth, we see massive returns for shareholders. Again, make no mistake, an EV by revenue multiple of 35.7 is very high, but by far not the highest it has been trading since its IPO. So whenever a company trades at such high or lofty valuations or multiples, there is very limited room for failure, especially on top line performances. A slight miss on revenue growth or communication suggesting haziness or lack of clarity concerning the coming quarters or a guidance that is even slightly below analyst consensus estimates, any of these reasons can cause a significant downwards movement in the stock price. Now, what is Investor Diary's conclusion? CrowdStrike has a hefty price tag irrespective of the valuation metric we use to measure. But it is also a company where fundamentals have moved up and to the right at a blazing pace. Immense growth, strong development in its operating model, and no signs of slowing down while having asserted its place in the cybersecurity industry combined with great network effects built into its service offering. We firmly believe that this is a buy and both of us at Investor Diaries have a long position in CrowdStrike in our individual portfolios. That's our recommendation for today, folks. We at Investor Diaries believe this dip in CrowdStrike is a buying opportunity and we certainly have maintained a long position on this company. That's a wrap for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. 
And as always, stay tuned and stay focused. Thank you.